Hi, welcome along to another video. As requested, this time we're going to go into the part three of the chat GPT conversation. It's a conversation with an AI learning tool. It's shorter than expected. Um, I wanted to go a lot further with this, but the answers I got kind of answered the questions to make it a bit pointless until it's updated because it's way too out of date at September 2021 in its cutoff period. Its responses were instant. My typing's quite slow. Not that slow, but slow compared to chat GPT. So we're gonna go back through the conversation rather than doing it as a live thing, a live screen recording. So this was a continuation in the same feed as the previous conversation. So I started with, hello again. It's good to be back chatting with you. Chat GPT responded with, Welcome back. I'm glad to continue our conversation. How may I assist you today? So I wanted to take it down the market research route, scaling things between zero and 10, typical market research style. So I asked, I was wondering in the time period that you have been around in, if many people have asked you about weather and or climate modification. For example, if zero is not many people and 10 is a large quantity of people, where would you scale that one? Thanks. And it responded with, as an AI language model, I have been asked various questions on a wide range of topics, including weather and climate modification. However, I do not have the capability to keep track of the exact number of times a specific topic has been asked. Therefore, I cannot give you a specific number or a scale of how many people have asked me about weather and climate modification. It was worth a try, right? So as you can see, I've asked, but it's not just me asking. And it responded with, yes, that's correct. You are not the only one asking about weather and climate modification. I have received questions on this topic from other users as well. Being polite and friendly, that's excellent. Well done. Did they find your information helpful? As an AI language model, I do not have direct access to information about how helpful my responses were to individuals who have asked me questions. However, my goal is to provide accurate and concise information to the best of my abilities based on my training and available knowledge. And that makes two of us. Thanks, yes, you have done very well with my questions so far. So I responded with, first, I will need to know your current cutoff date for information. Has it changed since the last cutoff date? And it's the same, basically. My knowledge cutoff date is still September 2021 and has not changed since our last conversation. So to give it some advice, if you like, get that theme questioning. Okay, thanks then really, until you are updated and can give more current responses, I don't really have much else to ask you, as there is a lot of current information that is relevant, happening now and recently in 2022, that would influence your responses and accuracy in those responses. You responded with, I understand and I apologise for any limitations in my knowledge. Please feel free to come back and ask me any questions in the future once I am updated with more current information. Thank you for your time. So I asked, do you know when you are due to be updated with current information? It says it's training and updates are managed by OpenAI. It doesn't have any specific information when it will be updated, but they do release updates to improve the accuracy and capabilities of language models like me or like it, not me, me. So I really thought there's not really much point in going any further with it as it's way too out of date being September 2021. So that was that. Maybe it's something to get back into in the future. Give it some time. So I'm sure there'll be some of you watching this. I can think of a couple of you that were maybe hoping for something a little bit different with the rest of with part three of that conversation. But as you can see, it's kind of, you could play with it, but might as well just leave it in the box and yeah, for now. And now just to give you a quick update on the website where I'm posting all the information that's shown in these International Weather Wars videos, generally speaking, there is now 
1,435 documents in total. So it's still the same format. All the countries are done by continent or continental area, if you like. Started to put rainwater test results onto it, clicking on everything else. You can see there's the stuff that isn't country by country. So you might find it takes three or four clicks to get through to the page that you're actually trying to get to. But there's a lot of information on there now. It's kind of set out as straightforward as possible. I've now got the patents list on there that's been going around for a decade or so and the mainstream media articles are now split out across three pages. Okay, I'll go and um, look for some more news for you. No doubt you'll be hearing from me soon. Until such time, as you know, take care. See you next time.